Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is We All Juggle Knives with a review of this new Schrade Parang. Yeah, you gotta love parangs. It's got a rubber-coated handle with a large lanyard hole. Now, this was sent to me by Schrade. This is a... It's an advanced copy or prototype. All right, they sent this to me to test out. And they, they didn't tell me the steel or anything about this. But when I find out what the steel is, I will definitely include that in the text description box. Alright, now this is not in stores just yet. Although by the time I post this, maybe they'll have it on Amazon, I don't know. But again, when they do have it on Amazon, I'll be sure to include that link in the text description box. Now, by my measure, the blade is 13 and 3 quarters inches. Alright, so... A small to medium length machete slash parang. I did test this sucker out. All right, and, uh, oh yeah, in the future, stay tuned for my review of that cool little survival shovel thing. It was like around, I think it was around $6. Pretty useful. Of course, the ground is all frozen now, but it's pretty useful uh, for cracking ice or clearing off my little bench there. So I did test out the Parang, uh, I did some chopping with it, and there you go with the usage footage. Batoning. Well, splitting. <laughs> you don't need a baton because it's so heavy, but instead of batoning, you can just split and hack. Look how durable. Yeah, I, I wailed on this thing. Right? So, you know, basically we're here using it as a hatchet. And this is a heavy parang. This thing is thick. It's heavy. It's got mass. Now, of course, in the jungle, you would be using the parang totally differently. All right. I understand that. I still have relatives in the Philippines. They got jungles over there. Uh, but I don't live in a jungle, and most of my subscribers are in North America, as well as Europe. And, you know, we, we have woodlands. We have mountains. We have... Mountains with forests on them. So in this terrain, in this environment, in this climate, uh, what you would use a parang like this for, you would use it for a lot of things that you might use a hatchet for. But the main difference is that this has a lot more edge length, so it can also do some things that you wouldn't use a hatchet for, like, uh, you know, just clearing some, clearing some uh, soft vegetation as well. So you see... This thing quickly made short work of uh, splitting that firewood. It's got a lot of mass. And when I first started uh, the splitting, I was pretty cautious because, like I said, they, they didn't tell me what steel this is. So, uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I was, you know, is this thing going to break? I stood offside so that if it broke, it would go over my shoulder instead of split my face open. <laughs> That's a pro tip making some shavings with it, right? But if I were to customize this, the first thing I would do would be to sharpen the first uh, few inches of this, right? Really, really sharp, just to make this whole making shavings thing go a lot more smoothly. Uh, however, I didn't have time to do that. I was anxious to test this before it started snowing again. But yeah, in a pinch, you can use this to make shavings. Not not ideal, right? But if you already have it out and in your hand, why not? But like I was saying, when I first started testing this, I, I was a little uh, I was a little cautious, right? Because I don't know what I didn't know what steel this is. But as I split more wood, I got a lot more confident that this won't break. So there's the sheath, right? It's heavy duty nylon. You see the belt loop there. It has a that strap so you can sling it over your back, adjustable strap. It's got two uh, button closure straps there. Semi-open construction, so you pull it up and out. It also has a button snap on the retaining strap. But overall, it's a heavy-duty nylon sheath, and it's a good sheath. You know, a flexible sheath they give you. So yeah, this thing did really well at the splitting. And I also did a bunch of chopping with it, just with pieces of what I had around. I didn't film that part, but as you can imagine from the splitting footage, this thing is quite a chopper. 
So what you have here is a, a hatchet replacement. You know, it's a hatchet, but... I mean, it can be used as a hatchet, but because of that blade length and the curve of the parang, this thing will slice things open. This could slice open an elephant. All right, maybe not an elephant, but it's a slicer, a wicked slicer. Uh, you could hack through some dense vegetation. Uh, now, you see this other Schrade parang. I've previously reviewed this Schrade machete. But I'm showing this because you might think that these that this is uh, similar to the new Parang. No, this older Parang, it's way thinner. It's way lighter. It's pretty much best suited for soft vegetation right there. Okay, so the new Parang, way thicker, way heavier, a lot more mass. You know, this is okay for a light machete. But this new Parang, it's a whole different animal, a whole different beast, if you will. Yeah, that other Parang, too thin, too light to split wood. It would just get stuck in the wood and not split it. This thing, yeah, this is much more hard hitting. It's a lot more durable. So yeah, this is an altogether different class. You're talking about the light machete Parang, and this is the heavy machete parang. Yeah, so final thoughts on this. It's a real multi-purpose tool because you can use it to split, you can use it to chop, you can use it to clear a path through soft brush vegetation. You could trim your hedges with it. You could slice up a, an animal you hunted with it. You could make shavings with it, you know. And if you add in, like, the jungle environment, there's a whole other mess of things that a parang is great at, right? So, yeah, it's kind of like if you want a hatchet replacement that's super flexible, parang, a parang like this would be good. Now, this particular parang, super durable. I mean, I slammed it through the firewood. It got stuck a couple times, and I just hit the piece of wood against the, the stump until it split. So... Yeah, this thing hits hard, it's durable. I hope you enjoyed seeing it. This has been We All Juggle Knives.